My name is Fast Eddie. I'm 81 years old. I have Parkinson's disease. My friend Emma is here tonight and she uh, is going to be gracious enough to say some of the things that she would say at my funeral. So my funeral will probably happen sometime in the near future and I won't be there to hear anything that people say. So we're recording some statements that would be fun to hear while you're alive and try to recreate a new way of doing funerals so that we have the acknowledgement, the appreciation before people die. Like Tuesdays with Maury. Mm. Yeah. Even hearing you give that introduction to the camera, I'm I'm getting in touch with like what it is that binds us. Just being here in the moment with you as you like um, introduce this concept like this isn't something that everyone's doing uh, something in you that I recognize in myself is um, well for one like a natural desire just to know what other people think of me uh, and to like see you ask for that to see you ask for feedback and like hey what's been my impact on your life uh, I think that's something that I want for my life too, and and just the way that you guys, both you and Mary, use creativity in your lives with all the different projects that you have going on, and 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 your willingness to share that with other people. That's something that I love about you guys is that you stay current in your relationships. That's somewhat rare in in the busy world that I live in. There's a distinction that I might bring up and it was by an author who lives in Canada and he said you can die well or you can die badly. And I think that all of us know people who are in intensive care for a long time and they are in a coma and they have all sorts of horrible things happen so one of the things I would like to do is die well. You're like taking the step to think about what you want rather than just behaving automatically. Yeah. Like, oh, I guess this is, I'm getting old, so yeah. I guess I'll go into intensive care yeah. now, because yeah. that's what I do, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and there's like, there's something deeper to what I, what I started off saying. I think it's in part that you guys are innovative, especially for your age. Like, it's, it's so refreshing to hear y'all's insights and your experiences, like, you guys are still using your minds, and to get to interact with minds that are still active but also so aged and experienced is is a treat. Um, but it might, it might be called valuable. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that way. Uh, but but there's something else to like. There's there's a spirit. There's like an energy or a spirit that I that I feel. Like, I'm fed in some way in connection to you guys. And uh, even just simply the way your living room is set up, like, we get to walk in and choose chairs and, and, and sit in front of each other and, mm -hmm. and just have natural conversation. And I really appreciate that. I get to look at Mary's new artwork and, you know, eat some chocolate and, and hear some crazy movie you guys have seen. You guys are just really generous. I can tell how much you love others and you want to share your lives. I appreciate that this is some degree about me, but I, I think that with the 60 people who talked to me, every one of them got value for their lives because they have parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles that are dying and they're better prepared now because of this conversation. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What a hug. Yeah. That'll be the day when you say goodbye.